Hi friends, this is Dr. Kostav Basu, consultant gynae oncologist and robotic surgeon, currently working with Narayana Super Specialty Hospital, Howrah. 4th of February is World Cancer Awareness Day. So, regarding cancer awareness, I want to tell you two things. I want to focus on mainly two things. One is cancer prevention and second is I want to clarify, I want to clear out some confusion among patients and their relatives regarding cancer treatment. So first is cancer prevention, right? So we all know that prevention is better than cure and it is specifically apt for cancer patients. So if the patient, if the patient comes, uh, can detect the symptoms of cancer very early, so we can, and we can also detect the patients in a very early stage. And we all know that if we detect the cancer at an early stage, the better is the chance of cure. So the symptoms which may indicate the early signs of cancer are like if there is a non-healing ulcer in the mouth, if there is a lump in the breast which is progressing in size, if there is a abdominal distension, if there is uh, altered bowel habit, loss of appetite, weight, sudden weight loss and some bleeding from different orifices like bleeding from the, uh, blood, from the urinary bladder, from through urine, bleeding from rectum, bleeding through vagina. So these are all indications that you may harbor a cancer within you. So if you have these symptoms, do not wait at home. Please consult a doctor nearby, get yourself treated. Another option of prevention is vaccination. So you can get vaccine against cervical cancer, which is caused by a human papilloma virus. Another aspect of uh, awareness is to create awareness among the patient and the relatives about treatment of cancer. Nowadays, cancer treatment is much more simpler. Like when the patient comes to us, they try to do not reveal the diagnosis to the patient, but that is wrong. You should tell your patient, you should counsel the patient regarding the treatment, regarding diagnosis, and you should, so that the main patient is mentally ready to accept the challenge. And secondly, uh, regarding the treatment, so we sometimes the patient default treatment because they fear that she might, might have severe pain during surgery, during chemotherapy, she may have a lot of hair fall, so she, have dis, she may have disfigurement of face or her breast. So this may cause defaulting treatment. So we should assure the patient that that is not the picture, that journey is absolutely painless because we have uh, excellent pain team with us now who take care of the pain management and also the rest of the thing like robotic surgery and laparoscopic surgery has come up which cause very less pain to the patient. So the journey of surgery is also painless. So overall the cancer journey, the treatment, the uh, follow up is very smooth for all patients now. So you should not uh, wait at home and you should uh, get yourself treated and uh, can become cancer free. Thank you.